Member for Taita Taveta, Honorable Haika Mzigi, you have a point of order? Yes. Okay. Madam Speaker, my point of order is an in, in regard to the question that has been made by one Honorable uh, Doris Ndonya uh, relating to the welfare of Kenyan who is working in South Africa and who has wrongly, I mean South Sudan, and, wrong, and who has been wrongly convic convicted. Indeed, the third prayer made by a uh, Honorable Member is, is for the measure that the government has put in place to protect the welfare and rights of Kenyans working in foreign countries, especially those in, in the Republic of South Sudan. This subject, Madam Speaker, falls within the mandate of the committee I chair, the Diaspora Affairs and Migrant Workers Committee. I therefore seek your guidance, Madam Speaker, on whether the statement ought to be directed to defense, intelligence, and foreign election, or the Diaspora Affairs and Migrant Workers Committee. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think we'll say that that is duly noted. Uh, the matter uh, shall be referred to the liaison committee to be able to decide which committee it's supposed to be domiciled in before it's marked to the correct committee or the one that has been requested. Thank you. Thank you. At this stage, I would like to recognize the presence of the following schools in the public gallery, Mutulu Secondary School in Kitui West, from Kitui West constituency, uh, Kitui County. Uh, second, I would like to recognize the presence of Ndo Secondary School from Booni constituency in Makueni County. I also wish to recognize the presence of Moy Boys Academy from Baringo North constituency, Baringo County. And I'm told specifically Kabartonjo. I also wish to recognize the presence in the speaker's gallery of Muthambi Girls School from Mara constituency, Tharaka Nithi County. Honorable uh, Haika Mzigi, member for Taita Taveta, your statement. Asante, uh, bispeaker wa kundupatia fursa hii kwa mara nyingine tena. Na nimesimama kwa kauli ya mjibu wa kanuni ya 44 mbili cha. Kuhusu mujibu wa viongozi kuvaa na kutangaza mavazi na sanaa ya Kiafrika. Mheshimiwa B speaker, kwa mjibu wa kanuni kanuni hii ningependa kutoa kauli kuhusu wito wa viongozi kuvalia na kutangaza mavazi na sanaa ya Kiafrika. Mheshimiwa speaker, ona wabunge wa kike wanavyongaa kwa mavazi na naksi hizi za Kiafrika. Hili ni dirisho Asante sana ndo hao mnawaona kina kina mama hai kina mama hai Asante sana Hili ni dirisho kuwa ipo haja bunge na Kenya kutambua mavazi na mitindo yetu ya Kiafrika na Ndiyo, nitamtambua tandaza pia mweshimua tandaza, tandaza amevalia vazi la Kiafrika sante. Nirusu niendele. Bila shaka hatua hii inaafika hadhi, jukumu, sura na sifa ya bunge la Kenya. Siku zote jukumu la viongozi ni kupeperusha upekee wa nchi na jamii zao. Kama kielelezo, nimengaria vazi kama kielelezo nimengalia vazi nililoshonewa na fundi wangu kule Taita Taveta 
bila shaka ningeweza kuvaa Uturuki, Uchina, Itali, Ita, 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 Italia na mitindo kadha ya ngambo. Lakini viwanda vya Kenya kama Rivertex, Spinit Limited na Thika Cloth Mill vitapata riziki yao wapi iwapo viongozi hatutachukua hatua ya kwanza. Kwa juma moja lijalo kuanzia siku tatu zilizopita wabunge wa kike katika jumba hili na seneti watavaa mavazi na mitindo ya Kiafrika. Lengo la hamasa hii ni kutangaza mavazi na utamaduni wetu kitaifa na kimataifa. Tunalenga kuinua ufundi wetu na kuboresha mapato ya wanamitindo wetu pamoja na wakenya wanaofanya kazi katika viwanda vya nguo. Ni sharti tuinue soko la wasanifu na wasanii wetu wa Kenya na Afrika kupitia mavazi, fasihi, teknolojia na sanaa za hapa nyumbani. Mheshimiwa speaker, nimekuwepo bungeni humu kwa kipindi kirefu sasa. Bila shaka nafahamu kuwa kanuni za speaker zinabainisha, zinabainisha wabunge wa kiume mavazi kama suti, tai, viatu na kwa hekma yake kanuni za speaker zimetuachia fursa ya kuwa wabunifu katika mavazi ili ku, kuwas, kuwaskisi u, utamaduni na mahitaji ya bunge na wa Kenya mavazi kama wanayovaa kaka zangu wa bunge yanahimiza na kuboresha soko la mataifa ya nje ya Afrika mavazi ni kitambulisho na sifa ya kila jamii Mwafrika ni nini kama si chakula mavazi na lugha zake mwandishi Shaban bin alisema Shaban bin Robert alisema Titi la mama nilitamu hata kama ni la hu ni la kelb huu ni utamaduni wetu ndio titi la mama yetu istoshe ujasirimali wa biashara ndogo ndogo kama ya mavazi kuchangia mapato yetu na utalii sanaa hii hubuni ni ajira kipato kwa watu wetu. Mheshimiwa spika nikimaliza. Tunaomba utuongoze kuungana na wenzetu katika bunge la Ghana, la Afrika Kusini, la Nigeria, miongoni mwa mwingine. Wenzetu hao wameshakoleza desturi na itikadi ya kuvaa mavazi ya Kiafrika katika bunge na mikutano ya kitaifa. Mwisho nahamasisha wa Kenya kujivunia mavazi na mitindo ya kita, Kiafrika. Tujiunge na mjadala huu unaoendelea katika mitandao ya kijamii. Mheshimiwa spika na kusihi uruhusu waheshimiwa wabunge kutoa na kunakili kauli zao kuhusu swala hili. Asante mheshimiwa spika na asante kwa sababu hata wewe umevaliwa vazi la Kiafrika na unapendeza sana. Asante mzungu. Aya ningependa kumpati, kupatia wabunge wachache waweze kuchangia hii kauli la mbunge wa Taita Taveta. Kwa sasa nitapatia nafasi eh, mheshimiwa Ruth Odinga eh, mbunge wa Kisumu. Haya nitampatia <laughs> Ntampa nafasi bi Fatuma Full Network <laughs> Shukran bi speaker Kwanza kabisa na washukuru wa ume wetu wametushangilia wiki nzima 
na mnaonekana kwenye ma TV mjichunge nyumbani <laughs> kabisa mavazi ya Kiafrika ni kitamaduni kitamu ni cha heshima sana na hata kwa dini madhehebu tofauti tofauti mavazi haya yanapendeza tukiangazia kabisa mishono hizi tunazozivaa kwa wiki hii yameshonwa na mafundi ambao ni wamama wa hapa nyumbani Kenya na zaidi ni wamama walioko viungo vya chini ni wamama ambaye sio designer wa hali ya juu kama yangu limeshonwa tu hapa Nairobi hapa River Road na mama mmoja na ni bei ya chini lakini ujue unapomuinua mama mmoja unainua uchumi, uchumi ya nchi kwa hivyo nawaangalia <laughs> nawaambia wamama tuendelee kuvaa hii mavazi ya Kiafrika na naomba pia kama ingewezekana mkubalie nao waume wetu pia ambaye ni mandugu zetu pia wavae vitenge vya kisuti ili waje naye hapa wasio wanavaa tu ya kizungu kizungu hatufanyi kwa sababu tunajiinua lakini tunainua wamama walioko chini kwa hivyo fanyeni kwa niaba ya ku, kuimiza wamama na mafundi ambao ni wamama wa kiwango cha chini na mjue bei itakuwa chini na pengine itasaidia hii uchumi ya hii nchi mambo ya kuombaomba na hiyo pesa kidogo ambayo tunayo tukiwasaidia hao mafundi wetu uchumi yetu itainuka naomba wamama wote kwa hii nyumba na wazee waliopo leo utoe kwa mfuko wako hela umpe mke wako hela aende anunue kitenge na waume na waomba kwa haya museme ndiyo nitafanya hivyo mtafanya hivyo Asante sana. Aya ni nitampatia nafasi hii kwa mbunge wa Embakasi East Honorable Babu Owino. Asante sana B speaker. Mi leo hii nina furaha mpwekwe mpwekwe. Kuona wamama wetu wakingaa wanametameta kama nyota. Mheshimiwa uh, mimi niko na box ambayo ni kitenge. Let's allow honorable Millie Odiambo to give her Ah uh, thank you uh, Madam Speaker for giving me this opportunity. Madam Speaker first of all I want to raise concern that a member next to me is harassing me that I must speak in Kiswahili. There is no relation between we are in Kitenge and Kiswahili. But I want to tell you Mr Speaker because I'm smartly dressed na Kiswahili si mdomo changu and I'm dressed in, Kis in, in Kitenge. Miss Madam Speaker My point of order is this. If you are promoting Kitenge and Honorable Babu Owino has not come wearing a Kitenge suit, why is he being given a chance to speak on Kitenge? And we are promoting Kitenge. He is wearing a suit from the US. When we are promoting local products, Madam Speaker, give only men who are wearing, who are promoting the local products, not the men who are promoting things from abroad. Maybe he's wearing it. Bi speaker niko na box ambayo ni kitenge. <laughs> Siwezi onyesha hapa jamani. <laughs> Bi speaker nina furaha sana kwa kwa kuwa tuna promote tuna promote local manufacturing bi speaker na mimi nimefurahia mama Fatuma mheshimiwa Fatuma amesema sisi wanaume tuendelee kuinua wa mama na ninasema tutaendelea kuainua kama wamama wetu na tutafanya kazi chini yenu tafadhali asante sana The honorable uh, Catherine 